let's get me going. Hello, world. Hopefully you can see me. Um, we just played our new transition video, so hopefully you saw that and that worked correctly. Um, uh, and that my audio is on. But anyhow, my name is Lauren and I'm on the DevRel team at Vonage. And you're watching my series, Lauren Learns Things at Vonage Devs. So this series is one where I learn things from my colleagues and friends and share that experience live with you all on Twitch, which sometimes goes well, sometimes doesn't. Um, but I have ex I'm excited to introduce to you my guest today. So let's see his adorable face and get your audio going just in case you wanna say hey. Uh, this is Luke. He is a developer educator at Vonage which means that he writes and films technical content on how to use our APIs in fun and innovative ways. He is in his second year at Vonage and is a big fan of Node.js and champions the Jamstack platforms as well as open source communities. Um, we know that I'm a big fan of him. This is his third time on the stream, I believe. So I believe you hold the record of amount of streams with me, Luke. So that's exciting. Uh, I'm lucky enough to work with him every day on the developer education team at Vonage. Welcome, Luke. Thank you very much for having me again, again. <laughs> <laughs> again, again. Uh, yeah, I'm super, super happy to have you. And tell me, what are we, what are we building today? So last time we didn't quite finish what we set out to build. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, this time, hopefully, we're going to finish it. So we're going to finish off our Slack bot. <laughs> okay, so we started building. Um, and actually, that's a good shout. Let me um grab the video of us uh the recording of us doing it last time um that way you could see part one of this series i guess um and this is we built the chat bot slack bot as a chat bot? yes it was okay <laughs> um and <Slack> yeah <laughs> and so we um we got it to log messages and which is great. And so let me show you kind of the browser view. What, um, if I go to our, the API page for Slack, we can see that I have a bot and it was on the workspace Lauren learns things. And I believe last time we also, did we share the link for folks to join the, ch the, the Slack did. channel? Okay, so I should probably do that again. Right, so that we can see um, if people want to join. I have it right here. Where's an invite? Share a channel. Oh. Uh, you can. Hold on. Okay. Share somewhere. There you go. I've got, I've got a. You got it. Put an invite link. I can post that. Sick, bro. Hello, everyone who's in the chat. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Happy Tuesday. Great day to be alive. Um, where are you? Where are you coming, um, watching us from? I myself am in Miami, which is. Um, an embarrassing thing to admit sometimes because of our COVID <clears throat> numbers. Um, but I'm being safe here, I promise. So just trust me on that. I hope you will. Um, okay, so you put in, that's, if you'd like to join, so that's the um, the join our ch Slack channel because that'll be helpful because we were kind of logging things and testing it out last time. I remember that was nice to have folks on with us. Uh, and then I feel like there's some more housekeeping things. Oh, yes, there is. Uh, if you notice, um, ooh, eat, or eat this code right here, that's a new code uh, for the month of July. So go get yourself 10 more Euro credits. If you've been with me from the beginning, you've seen we have new credits every month. And so that's a new one for you to continue building with Vonage. Uh, and actually, you know what? Speaking of, let me get you a particular sign up link for uh, Vonage that is, you know, particular to uh, 
sign up for Vonage account for free and make sure you grab the coupon code. And then that is, you'll notice a particular URL code. If you are watching this, you probably might be a software engineer and you know that metrics matter. And so more sign up links I have associated <laughs> to this channel, the more likely it will be that I continue doing Lauren Learns things. And that would be fun for me. Maybe for you, I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's enough housekeeping, I think. That was kind of boring way to start the stream. Sorry, everyone. Um, let's see, Luke, what would we, gotta get those free money now so I can't, yes, yes, Legator used to have the, our old boss could power people up with 200 euro credits. That was a very powerful ability he had, but no longer. He left. <laughs> uh, I mean, in, uh, to go pursue great things. Um, okay, so let's see, anyhow, we, um, Where are you based? Where are you, Luke? I'm in Essex, in the United Kingdom. And how uh, are about there? an hour away from London. Okay, we've not had a rebound yet. Uh, <laughs> although the UK isn't doing much better, in my opinion, in the US sometimes. I mean, the numbers don't say that, but uh, yeah, it certainly feels like that. It's like we're ignoring there's a problem, yeah. but let's not talk about that. Yeah, we have officially, um, yeah, um, Florida has closed the beaches for, we have an upcoming holiday this weekend. And um, so that's, so I'm glad that that's happening because I think that that was a, a good show. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, okay, let's see. So let's see, um, I have my code from last time that we had open. Um, are there any things that we should kind of like point out and pay attention to right now? Um, and bring attention to, it's a little too small. Or are we good? No. Okay. No, I think that's all good. Yeah. Okay. So what, what's our first step for our journey today? And the bars and the bars are closed. Good point. Yeah. The beaches and the bars. <laughs> our bars open this Friday. Oh, they open. Mm. Wow. Let's see if I can get our lighting a little better. I mean, who knows this place? You know that's not gonna work. Um, it's very sunny and hot out today. Ooh. Um, what? What? Where? Where should we begin for our next step of our Slack bot? So I think the first step would be to get it working. Um, <laughs> how it was? Okay. When we left it last time, yeah, that's... and we'll log some messages. Good shout. Um, yeah, actually that's a great point. So let's go back. I want to kind of look at our browser again and see, look at our, this particular app that we created and see what it, what it, we were asking it to do. So, oh, those are, those are some secrets. Um, so we have, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, <laughs> we have event subscription. So make it easy for your, to an activity. Okay, so that's the one we built out, I think. And so we are now, every time a member joins a channel and any time a message was posted to a channel. Oh, cool, so that's gonna be anything. We'll get a log. Um, so, okay, how do we, should we just run a ser our server? Yes. Uh, and grok, I believe this one. Ooh, we need an end grok going. That's fun. I think I have. We did a one. custom uh, did a custom have. domain last time, didn't we? We did. It to was, get your request um, URL. And grok, HTTP. I think we called it Slackbot Lolo. There we go. All right, it worked. Um, so. What then, um, what did we do with this? Where did we have that going? Wait a minute. That's not correct. Yeah. What command did you run? Let's see. Ngrok HTTP? You need to do... Start! I'm sorry. To... Did I just scream that? <laughs> Hi, Greg. 
Um, yay, my favorite colleagues that start with an L. You're my favorite colleague that starts with a G. Um, NPM, and then grow up start, right? We get to start upsetting people when you think about what we're saying. No, you want to oh, no, HTTP. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Can we write a lot of apologies tomorrow? <laughs> don't, don't. You know what? I take it back. I said it in. No, I don't take it back. You know what? I, whatever. This is not. We don't play favorites. <laughs> No, it's ngrok start lolo slackbot lolo. Yeah, because I have one. Oh, you should, okay. You can even see my screen. You did it. Provided a config for it. Right, see down here? If you're looking at my screen. Oh, yeah. Remember, sorry. we built yeah. one out. Okay. Now we can. Oh my gosh, you all are not now. looking at this. I'm so sorry. This is the, it's recorded, you can't take it back. Greg, don't, please just don't clip that. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> okay, so now I have my URL, riveting stuff <laughs> over here. What do I do with that again? I put it in the browser? No, I- Well, the URL is, it's, it's already synced it in, it's pretty configured, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right, you right. Whew, what was this, a month ago we did this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe longer. Um, uh, you can change it to this. You can do it. You can click on change in, in config, change it to the same URL, and it'll verify again just to make sure everything's working okay. Um, we can do that in um, uh, that that page there. Request URL. Oh, here it is. Slackbot and Click on change. Slack events change. Yep. So I'm here. Should I do that? You just put that same URL. Yeah, put that same URL in again, slash, slash. But it's not any different. Oh, it's but not, but it's I see what you're saying. Nice. Okay, cool, 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 so cool. Yeah. Uh, and once that's running, <laughs> uh, it's, okay. which channel was in? What do you mean? So now we need to M MPM. Start? Start. Yeah. How did that verify? No. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, I don't know. Uh, um, started, we should be able to log stuff in there. So. So if I go to the chat and I say, oh. so there we go. We see a Slack event. Four fours. <laughs> And we see, we see some four or fours. Okay, that's fine. Um, is it? Is it? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I trust that we'll figure it out is what I mean when I say fine. Um, okay. So we know that it's it, our NGROC is turned on correctly. And bad gateway. Oh, 404 is again. Yeah, we knew that. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see. So let's. Um, is should we revisit the code maybe? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So, uh, in the express application, we'll just make sure that the roots is correct. I got another 404 in case someone was trying. Um, Aaron says, I think the NGROC returns an error page if it can't establish a tunnel. That might have been enough to verify the URL. This isn't the right app. This is the Slack clone app. God dang it. <laughs> oh my God. Should Do you want to call it? Like, are we done? Is this... <laughs> Oh my lord, have mercy. I should have looked. No, LS. I should have looked closer. Uh, LS, Lauren. Uh, yeah. Um, yep, I was in. That's fun. I was in the view Slack clone, which we built a few weeks ago, which was super fun. Um, let's turn off NGROC. Wow. So let's move into <laughs> Slackbot, shall we? Golly. Golly, G whiz. That is just special. 
Um, all right, let's get a new one going. And, okay. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Looks like this looks much more like her. Oh, I'll turn on and grok. Nope. Is the other one still listening on three three thousand? No, I turned I turned it off. Ah, that needs the. Then it needs to be happening. Environment variables now. Yep, that sounds right too. Um, start. Wait, what was it called Slack bot? Low low. All right, well that's go going. This is fun. Yep. This is fun. Who's having fun? So that won't start. All right. So we didn't use um, dot, we didn't use dot env, did we? Uh, oh look, no, we didn't. there's no env. So, so we just we, we put the environment variables directly into terminal. Next, did we run Nextmo setup or something? Or oh wait, that we're not on Nextmo. So what do what do we run for that? You run like dot env setup you or? Can... No, I don't think it was set up. We just we just need to add the environment variables. So we, let, let's do it as a .n file. Okay. It'll be easier in case we come back to it. Yeah. So <laughs> create a .n file, <laughs> and we'll create we'll add. Um, oh, Lord so instead of .js, you've got that process .n at the top there with the Slack signing secret. I think it is. Yep. There we go. Yep. And then we'll go get that from. Slack config. I won't show you all, but I will like walk you through with a version of what I have. So that was in like the basic, right? It was at the top of it. Yeah. That's it. So it's further down. Okay. On the basic Don't information. Just look at our look at Luke's cute face. Um, okay, and this is it's the client seat. No, signing secret. That's the one. Yeah. So my question that. for you Maybe. all is, what song do you have stuck in your head right now? That is just what I'm dying to know, because I have a really stupid song stuck in my head right now. Um, okay, and then the other yeah. one that we're going to need is what? Any others? We, we, don't, need one. we don't need one yet. We just need this at the moment to get everything running how it, how it should be. Okay. Uh, so we're going to install so npm. npm install dot end. Uh, sorry, the word dot end. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dot end. That's okay. We'll just edit all this out for when it goes. No, you know what? No, I just, I do, I firmly <laughs> do not believe in that because I think it's important to show vulnerability and to be honest about like, um, the errors we make in our code and the bugs and just kind of the cadence of this because when we do create YouTube videos, they're so polished and it's so perfect and all of the bugs have been taken out. And this is this is what, it, like this is live coding, this is pair coding uh, and I want to be living honestly about that. So, so that's my, that's my, I'm gonna get off that diatribe okay so back to the code <laughs> um we then what do we want to do we want to run npm start and see if it works not yet mm, yeah sure. in in server.js file yeah oh you're we gonna have to import require yeah just just require and then dot n dot and then oh what that? Choir. Oh my god. What language have you been using? I don't know. Recently. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so require. Last week I was with. Open. Who was I with? Um, um, who was I with last week? Require open, uh, open bracket. Oh yeah. No space. Got it. Got it. Right. Yeah, single quotes. Yeah, in. It isn't? And then after. No, that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. And then after the after the closing bracket. Oh shit. Dot. Config. Got it. And that's a so and that's a function. Good. There it is. Um, beautiful. Okay. 
That's great. Okay, and then we have that correctly named right there. So now it's pulling that correctly. So yeah, I think if you were to watch the, just to catch everyone up with what we were just doing is we were, um, we were putting it into the CLI. And so we didn't, we hadn't created a .n file beforehand. So that was what, uh, we're just catching ourselves up to that point. Um, should we call it on the coding and have a happy hour? I mean, that is, that's a fair idea. But then we wouldn't have anything for you two after the edit. Right. <laughs> What's, this is a new error. It's saying it needs a signing secret. We have that. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Did it install? Definitely installed. That's one easy way to look. Yep. Got him. Um, okay. Let me move away from the code really quickly. Double check that my, I saved this. And that was what, that was what we called it. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. I mean, this isn't going to be. You could always good. log out. Of what? Did you restart? Oh, it wasn't even running. Um. Yeah. Uh, what could that be? Um, a signing secret. We need a signing secret. Should we? No, that's not going to. That doesn't matter. Mm. Okay. That's weird. Let's just think about this. This is, um, hmm. Go to the dot end file without showing everyone. Without showing everyone. <laughs> just check there's no spaces at the beginning of the line or, no, it all looks good to me. It's the right format. And it looks um, right. Ah, uh, scroll down. Me? On the app credentials? Yeah. On the app credentials? Yeah. Um, That's the same. Oh, we're showing that. That's fine. Well, I'll rotate them next time. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> oh trap. my gosh. What is the point of even trying uh, NPM start? <laughs> Uh, so no, that's a weird one. Now everyone can see everything. So if you're in the chat and you have an idea of why this, you've seen it all. You uh, process .env. This is how Debug. we use .env config in JavaScript. Let me just open up. And... Yeah, compare from like an example that you have. This is fun. This is allowing oh. us all to, um, I don't even know what to Google right now. Um, I feel like the, the required dot end is wrong. Oh, but this? Off the top of my head, I can't figure out why. Okay. Yeah. Off the top of my head, I can't think why it might be wrong. But, um, yeah. Let's look at another. Yeah, I've got a, I've got, I must have a bot I recently worked on. I know, right? <laughs> I That's the, like, just like look at any example you have. for you all. Here, let's just go to the... Here, let's all do this together. This is exactly the same. And Maybe then, I spelled it wrong. Let's just do copy it in. And process dot end slash signing secret. Okay. And then yeah, process dot env. Create event adapter. Nice to start signing secret. 
it's exactly the same. Yeah. The, so the dot n, the .n file, it doesn't have, but like if you ls that directory, uh, minus a. Um, on Slackbot? Yeah. Um, In dash a, yeah. It has no modules. Okay. Or it has, and then in package JSON we see dot env. Right? I mean, I'm seeing that, and we're in the right folder this time. I mean, we could go back to the way of putting in the signing secret into the CLI. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Just like hard coding it this way. There's no type. Yeah, yeah, I think that might be a good there's idea. no type or in the settings. variable name that we've all seen that happen multiple times on this channel. Slack signing secret is what it looks like right I mean, here. At this point, you just... You've all seen it at this point. Slack signing secret. That's what that looks like. I promise you all, Lorna, if you're watching, I promise I will rotate this once this this is over <laughs> um but okay so that is it so I we mean, can remove the end from from that file now why because we're going to well we'll just we'll just do it in the in the terminal yeah so just paste the contents of the dying file um that's so weird i know right okay so just into the terminal yeah. So now okay, and now run again. With export. Oh, yeah. It will be with export, won't it? What? Did you run export? With that? No, sorry. I mean, I uh, at, the, at the start of your paste from the .in file, um, you will need to. Oh, export. Yeah. This, yeah. That's right. I think I. Oh, shit. Oops. Shit. <laughs> that was in the code. God, this is just not how I was expecting this to go. All right, so now it's working. Um, you need an expert before the pace. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, I think I, um, yeah, I don't know why I forgot to do that. Um, okay, so anyhow, you don't, we, what? You don't always need to do that. You can, you can paste it in at the beginning of the node string. And I always forget the export if I'm doing this because oh, I, I normally paste it in just before you type node on the same line. Oh, so you would do, go, you would, you would type this. And then space, no server. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or NPM start, yeah. Or, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, yeah, NPM start. So now we're, now we're working, we can go spam your Slack channel and oh, hopefully okay, everything will. Um, you want to get any four reports? Is uh, NGROC working? Um, NGROC is, let's double check. I have a bad gateway. You have a 200. Okay, so let's go look. Okay, we have hello and we have hi. I am the hi, you are the hello. Okay, well at least 30 minutes in, we now have a working, um, what we did last time. Okay, so um, we call it there? Yeah, is everyone good? You guys feel like we're... <laughs> Um, um, what, okay, Aaron sent, oh, Dura, yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good resource. Um, so that, yeah, you, this is, that's a good, that's a good shout. That's something to think about. Um, okay, anyhow, so we now have a logging, if anyone wants to join our Slack 
channel Lauren Learns Things, you're welcome to, and we'll log it here and we'll be able to see it. Um, and that will be super fun. But yes, to happy hour. Um, and yeah, that would be, that would make for this a little bit more um, smooth sailing maybe, or just more, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> more chaos. More chaos for sure. Okay. All right. Um, so where, what, what shall we um, try and tackle next? Okay. So we want to send a message into the channel. Yeah. So that was do, our goal. should we start with, should we just start with any time anyone says anything, <laughs> it's going to send sure. a reply. Sure. That sounds okay. super annoying, right. but let's so, do it. <laughs> that's, that's really annoying. Uh, so do you want to do a secret message or a public message? Mm, well, I think secret messages are cool, but maybe public just because Proof of life. what do you think? <laughs> Proof of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that seems like I've the got, next so. level. Okay. So I have, this is chat post message or chat ephemeral post is, um, for it'll everybody, right? Post message. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it'll be post message um, that goes to the channel. Okay. And then post ephemeral goes to the channel with the user with the user ID, and then only that user can see it. Okay. That's cool. Well, let's do the first one then for now. The post message. Loads of edge cases on post message, but that's the the straightforward use of it. And what you need is I'm going to send you some code. No, I'm not. I'm going to send you a link to the docs. Okay. Probably already sent this. Yeah. I'll put it in the Twitch chat. Perfect. So there's a link to the node Slack SDK. Okay. And inside those docs, we're going to uh, it's the first usage example, actually, posting a message with Web API. So we're going to need to install the at Slack Web API node package. Um, and then we're going to need the Slack token that's generated for the bot. Okay, got it. Um, uh, okay, so we need to install these bits here. Just uh, web API. We've already got the event API. We have the event. Yeah, that's right. Let's back to the code. Turn her off. Click on it. Okay. Uh, Okay, that works. Now back over here, um, posting a message with Web API. I'll borrow all of this language here. You can, yeah, you can, yeah. Everything yeah. apart from getting the conversation ID, we don't need that. We're gonna get that from the message which has been sent to us, or that's been sent in the channel. Mm -hmm. So you can just... Just these um, top three lines then. Yeah, tell you those top three lines. Yeah. Um, and do you want them to go into a new file or just in the server? In that file is fine. Uh, we'll put them on line seven. Great. I mean, you can tidy up a bit. Um, we're going to have to pull... We're going to have to post the Slack token. We will. Um, okay. That's the one that you're not going to want to share. Oh, because okay. That's a, an OAuth token for the bot. Yeah, oh. so. Okay, so avoid... why don't I, let's just pull up our faces really quickly. Um, and I'll do that really fast. Pulling out mm -hmm. my... So you want to go to the... Oh, which it's not there. Oh, oh it isn't. Oh. Where is it? 
Okay. So uh, rather than being not instead of the general tab, mm -hmm. it's actually on um, with the Slack settings. It's on OWASP oh, permissions. Yes, yeah. And the top of that page, that is that token there, which begins with XO XB or okay. XO XC or XO. XO. I have XO XB. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I have that, um, and I'll run that in my code, and I'll clear my code so you all can't see that anymore, and I will bring you back to the code. Cool. All right, so that is there. Copy, we're not using that anymore. Um, okay. So we are already listening for an event um, based on, we already have that happening. Am I right? That's right. Yeah, okay. all that bit's done This piece already. is already handled. Uh, with the bot that we've got working. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So at, at where, you were just, where you were just copying the web API code, we're going to take the async send message from there as well. Um, this bit. Scroll down. Yeah. Right yeah, so we're going to take that async function. Okay. And, uh, and we're going to put it inside. If we make on the 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 Slack Slack events dot on message. I see it. Yeah. So make that callback in there. Uh, async. Okay. Um, how do so I just, do that? I before... add on and then async. Is that right here? Not there, no. So we're going to go along a few characters just before the event. Oh, here? There we go. Yeah, that's it. So just before that parentheses, that's it. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then inside that, we can paste the contents of that function as opposed to the entire function. Into, instead of all of it. So we want the res yeah. await. I see. OK, that makes sense. Um, that looks ugly. Okay, so let's look at what this is actually doing for a second. So here we have a wait web dot chat post message. So this mm -hmm. is okay, calling from that, and then that will have the conversation already ID. We've already we've not got that yet. No. Okay, so we need to grab that, and we will. We don't want to. So say. the rest should should already already work. Yeah. Um, we can say whatever we want. Welcome. If only there was some way to do a random gift. <laughs> That'd be cool. And then, and, yeah. Okay. Then we can get. Uh, I think the. Oh, I can send you a link to the event. Yeah. Where'd you do that on? I'm just going to send you the link. The Slack has... Oh! Slack has issues on their website. I'm getting, a, getting an error on their site at the moment. On their site? Yeah, well, it's just great timing. Ooh! That's exciting. Yeah. Okay, so I'll link straight to the event. Okay. So when, when a message comes into a channel, this is the event that you receive. Where are you typing this to? I just put that in the... In oh, the, you put the it Twitter. for all of us to see. Cool, thank you. I did, yeah. Um, so you can see the, the format of the message now. So that's the message that we receive, and that in that function that you've got there is is event. So the message channel I is going to be event dot channel. Event dot channel. That's the ID. Or no, that's just the. Yeah, that's the channel ID. Okay. Um, that's the channel ID. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or as they call it here, the conversation ID. Conversation ID. Um, okay, so, so going back to here, we need to change this conversation ID to channel. 
No, event dot channel. Sorry. Yep. Right. That's one. Yep. Okay. Fabulous. Okay. I just realized we actually had, we actually knew what event dot channel was oh, when no. we were doing it last time. I saw it. I just wasn't sure if you wanted to like walk us through the journey for those who missed it last week. So oh, I, I was like okay. super down Fair for enough. it. Cause I think it's better just that to make that assumption. But yeah, so you can see that we have it here. Okay. Um, and cool. Okay. So, um, and also in the chat, just for obviously, Okay, so right now we're building a chat bot that responds back to you every single time you type something and says, welcome. That's gonna be super annoying. If you have another idea for what you would maybe want it to say um, or another functionality, give a thank to it to help us come up with an idea. Um, you know, once we're, once we're ready for it, we'll love to take ideas from the, from the chat. Okay, um, so is, will this run? Will, or can I try it? I guess is kind of what I'm wanting. Yeah, that's that, that's that's right now. Yeah. Okay. And I have an example here of how to send it back in a thread because we like threading messages. We do like threading Sorry. messages. Um, okay, so let's go to our browser, and y'all can see me say hi. Okay, I'm gonna send that and then let's look at the code. Oh no, look at that. That's an error. Look at that error. And it is an API error missing scope. Of course, of course it doesn't it have is. permission to send a message. So that's a really good learning experience for me because I've done that about a thousand times in the last two weeks. That's okay. still haven't remembered. That's okay. Um, you are still okay, so, the guru. So let's, I'm going to, I'm going to turn this off real quick because we'll just keep getting those errors. So how do we give it permission? In your Slack app config, I'm going to go to the config. OAuth and permissions page. And I'm not going to show everyone. you. I'm going right here, just <laughs> FYI. I'm just showing where I'm going and then I'm going to go back to our faces. Okay. And then you here. You can scroll down a bit and then, to, and then, and then show them. I can show them this. Uh, down a bit more. <laughs> scopes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so we're going to get down to uh, scopes. This is E. Oh, this is one of the few times that I found I've needed to add a scope manually without uh, like registering to an event and it's then chosen the, the scopes for me. Oh, that's so in here, you just want to look for send message. Oh. Ooh, look at all these things we could have it do. Yeah, wow. it's such a long list. I've been playing with a few new ones lately. Oh, okay. you saw the, yeah, but the I URL like that one. Um, uh, So I'm looking for send what? No, that's not. Chat? Chat, chat right. Is it? Chat. Chat. Chat right. Send it. messages Good. as first bot. Aw, OK. We need to reinstall your, oh, that's right. Do I hit this? Yeah. So that's right, yep. Spite. The, the token ID you had won't change okay oh there she is right. no buddy no and you can't see it you can't see it in full I mean, it is much longer than that. oh great uh, <laughs> stay away hackers <laughs> um all right cool so now let's run that again um let's npm start all right somebody give us Somebody type in the Slack so we can just stay on the on the terminal and watch. Exciting times. Ooh, ooh, how oh, annoying oh, oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. And does it just oh. keep going? It's responding to itself. <laughs> Stop. We've created a message in oh my God. the loop. <laughs> Look, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, sorry everyone if you're in our chat. All right, our bad. You know what, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant. That's hilarious. Um, it's so excited that you you joined. Um, that's so <laughs> ridiculous. So this seems like a flaw in their example code that that's you receive a message and it's just going to continuously loop through it. 
it can it can message itself. Yeah. Yeah, but that's but that's funny. not their example. No, no, oh, it wasn't. Just, just oh, no. that's funny. <laughs> um, that's hilarious. Okay, cool. So we need to put some conditionals on when it's gonna chat. I would say, right? So, um, I've done two of these now. The okay. one that I did for um, the guys bot is basically a regex that looks for the word the, the word guys. Although yeah. it could be multiple messages, it could, or it could be multiple words that might have meanings you might not want in a community space. Um, right. So you so like you give an array uh, of like the possible words. Is that how you do it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah so I just use like, a regular expression. Guys, uh, or... Made it case sensitive. Oh, you mean, okay, cool. Um, yeah, smart. Yeah, just a case insensitive regex to look for uh, like a string, Gen like a load of words. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly, yeah. I mean, at the moment, it just, it's just guys, but um, it could be ex expanded on quite quite right. easily, really. Yeah. And the other one is the URL shortener, where basically I used another regular expression to look for a, U a URL. And then it takes the value of the URL and it and takes anything off the beginning and the end. Um, so, so then it only shortens the URL, not the, not the entire string. Yeah, that was um, really smart. So, so you can, uh, yeah, I mean, any sort of string manipulation here and conditionals um, to then decide how you want to respond. Um, you can imagine, like, if you have 100 ideas, this async function then becomes huge. So yeah. I, create, I, I would create my own router at this point to then decide of course what to see what back. I've received. Yeah. But yeah. I mean in this like one page example, I guess we could stay simple. Let's build the guys bot. I think that's important. Um I hate it when people yeah. say hey guys or hi guys or guys in the beginning of a chat. I think it's incredibly exclusive and yeah, I don't like having to fight the battle all the time as the person and so that is offended by it or excluded by it so it's nice to have a bot that would say it back to me or say it back to the author um, and you I should should say this that you have come up with a really thoughtful way of doing it so um, looking at the code or at the browser what we were just doing that's a public chat that went back to everyone sorry that for everyone to see but um, what Luke has built was one that does the ephemeral posts and that was really thoughtful because it then just sends it directly to the person that sent the language saying, hey, that's not a super inclusive word. Do you want to consider something different? And that isn't as public shaming as um, as the, the first one is because it's it's not as public. And I think that that's really thoughtful and nice. However, comma, let's be public on this one because it's my channel or my Lauren Learns Things. and. I think every mistake is a learning opportunity, as we've seen in this stream today. So if anyone made the mistake of saying, hey, guys, let's publicly learn from it. So thank you for being thoughtful in that oh, regard. We're going to disregard it for now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when I did it, oh, the first, actually, no, I lie. I'm looking at the code that I wrote here originally. And the mm -hmm. first time I did it, um, oh, I didn't use a case sensitive regex. I was really lazy and I just uh, uh, lowercase the string and then matched <laughs> then matched the, the exact fine. string guys. So Yeah. Um, I think that's a fine yeah, way to good. do it because I, Yeah. So the what? condition that I, I used before. So here is the condition. So here's the condition that I used. Oh, okay, cool. Great, thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Copy that um, and then go over here. Okay, so this will be in, within here, we need to. So around the outside of that post message, I would put the condition, uh, not there. Here? I mean, around the outside of the whole line. Yeah. So, before and after the whole line. Before and after the whole of this, a wait. Like that. So, line 14 yeah. is going to go inside a new condition. Yeah. yeah. And delete that and then put it in like 
outside of this. I believe how well that pasted. It it pays well. Um, I've noticed in Twitch, whoever, um, I I we have sent code in the Twitch chat a few times, and I'm shocked every time. It's cool. So shouts to you, um, whoever is. Twitch dev. Twitch dev, like, do you want to be friends? Um, okay, event text to lowercase include guys. If the text, so what we just put there is if someone writes, hey guys, um, want to chat with you about this like super cool event I have going on, um, then we will, we won't necessarily say welcome. Instead, let's come up with a, like, what did you say? What, um, hi, did you do like person's name? No. Oh. Because that would require another API call to get the profile oh, information of the that. user. I don't want to do that. Right yeah. Now. So. Hi. Uh, well, um, uh, I mean, Slack, Slack bot itself. Slack bot. Yeah, guys, that's that's passive. Uh, Let's say it has its own. Has its own uh, Slack HQ has its own uh, example of how you might respond to hey guys. Um, oh really? Have you considered yeah. a gender neutral? It, greeting they they just they just respond with did you mean friends did you mean crew did you mean folks friends did you mean folks posse? i don't like posse i don't like posse um, such as I, I mean i just say hey everyone um mm. should i put them in quotes no this is um no you could emphasize it somehow no. um everyone okay how about Y'all. Y'all. Folk. Wait. Ooh, shit. Um, y'all. Y'all from an English accent doesn't sound very good. But folks, I use. I like more folks. Regularly now. Folk. Um, guys isn't very inclusive. What about folks? Oh, I mean that's nice and. Have you? Yeah. Wait. Ah, uh, my dad's calling me. Hey dad, I'm, I'm live coding right now. Do you think I could talk to you later? Would you call me back? I will call you back, I promise. Right, bye. Bye. Sorry, uh, you never know with him. Um, okay, Aaron, I like that language more. So let's let's use that, that was nice. Um, I got a little wordy. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, my language is really cons is terse. If anyone reads my tutorials, I am, they're usually pretty brief because I think it's important to be quick to the point. Um, okay, so that I really like. Thanks, Aaron, for the brief language. And let's give it a shot now. Let's let's try it. Let's try her yeah, it should work now. Eek! I'm so scary. excited, so excited, so excited. Hi. Hey guys, what's going on? Guys, this isn't very, oh no, it's, no! Ah! No! No! Okay. Of course, uh. it's got guys in them. <laughs> oh, because guys has. <laughs> oh my God, wait, Aaron, were you pranking us? I <laughs> think he was. <laughs> this is my chance. The idea of you sitting there knowing that you were doing that is so evil. And I was like, oh, wow, that was really thoughtful. Oh, my gosh. That isn't very, oh, my gosh, whatever. That is really annoying. Um, cool. Come for the coding. Stay for the fun. Um, <laughs> that language. Um, That's really good. That was really funny. Uh, was not super inclusive. Um, okay, actually, like, should we just solve that problem? <laughs> I mean, the, the best way to do, it's difficult to know what your own bot's ID is. I found out when I was oh, doing okay. something else. So the the way to get around this would be to send an ephemeral message because oh. it's not listening for ephemeral messages because it never receives them. Um, so I, I've never done like a public response until recently. So, uh, 
yeah. I wouldn't have spotted this coming. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I got some errors, but I think it's because I got, I need to move this console log into the message sending. That's all. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was super. I'm not over getting trolled. <laughs> but it was funny. That was really good. I guess I just, like, I need to be cool and, like, it's totally fine. Troll away. Trolls invited. <laughs> Okay, um, so now all the bugs should be, now we should, like, if I go back yeah. to here and I say, hello world, that's super inclusive. I, that's why I always start, like, on my Insta, oh wait, I still got the bug, or the error. Res is not defined. Huh. What? Let's start again. Did you, oh, it's because you didn't stop it and start Yeah, I'll start again. Um... It doesn't hot reload the code. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, of course. Um, okay, so we logged out that we're here. And then, um, or should I say guys? Am I right? Because only guys co say is guys. God, I'm an idiot. Um, okay, and then that language is not super cool. Hey, hey, hey. that's fun. What a journey that took. <laughs> Gosh, one hour later. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. I like the try last to, stream was shorter than that. <laughs> I try to prep people when they come on with me. Um, like don't try and get like a whole tutorial done because it's like quite frankly impossible. Uh, because there's just like all these things that happen. And honestly, it's more fun to get kind of stuck in it. I mean, I had fun, but I don't know about you all, but I don't know. It's interesting. There's a lot to, you exposed me to quite a bit of interesting things to be done in the world of Slack bots. And I guess maybe the docs are just a place kind of to get lost into if you. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty big as well. I mean, you've got all the different events all the different types of messages right. I mean the post message alone can be used in like three or four different ways if you scroll down on that post message documentation yeah and just see how it is and it even says like uh oh. here be dragons at one point like okay wait yeah. what would you um, just say and uh, here be dragons oh but beware yeah yeah cool uh so if you wanted to oh here's a good one so on your screen right now you've got thread ts so in your event, you've oh. got uh, event.ts. So if you were to give your message um, yeah, that I you're see. sending a thread underscore TS of the events TS, no idea what TS means. Oh. Uh, I've never <laughs> cared to look it up, but it will then respond in a thread. It will then respond in a thread. Oh, cool. I see what you're saying. I wonder if it's timestamp. Yeah. Um, but it's yeah. yeah so then okay that's really cool yeah I like that a lot because then it's threaded and not everyone that almost makes it a little bit more um, it's like public but not public but not as public yeah yeah I think that's I that's maybe a nice way to do it um, and I imagine anyone that is joining this particular slack community isn't going to my like I just I'm, I'm hoping that folks are like down to be exposed in their learning journeys as as I am um yeah okay well so let's let's review what um what credentials I need to go turn over <laughs> right now it's just my slack ones right yeah yeah we didn't do anything else yeah. okay I'm adding that to my to-do list right now um goodness okay well Luke Thanks for taking me there. That was, it's... That was fun. That was, <laughs> next time it would take a full half an hour because we'll be so well prepared. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. Um, well, so yeah, I mean, I think it would be really fun. Please like tweet at us and let us know what you're doing. Um, if you're watching this, maybe in a later date, hello in the future. Um, and let us know what other types of bots you're building, because I think as we kind of saw today, there's a full world um, to play with. And that's super fun and just kind of 
the limit does not exist on what creative things we could be doing with it. So I'm, I'm very curious to hear of other use cases that people have come up with. Um, definitely things in the world of diversity and inclusion. Um, I think that's a really interesting space to kind of create inclusive communities in your Slack. Um, so other and any and all ideas are definitely welcome. But Luke, thank you so much again for joining me on this. I enjoy seeing your face so much and, and having you be my, yeah. my teacher for the hour. <laughs> Thank you for having me again. Of course. Okay, well, um, that's all for today, I suppose. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to grab the coupon code that we have down below uh, and um, sign up for Fonage, all the things. We have the low code hour happening tomorrow, uh, and then we have the late night build happening on Friday. So lots of um, content coming for you on the Vonage Devs channel. So. Definitely be sure to give us a follow so that you never miss a potential announcement uh, about when we're going live. So I think that's it for today. Goodbye, everyone. So long. Let's go standby and offline. And...